What's up, YouTube? Georgia Silver Hunter here with an interesting mail call today. This is actually a bit of a mail call and a Mercury Dime book fill. So stay tuned, and we're going to jump right in to see what we got in the mail. So as you can see in front of you, uh, I've got something here from Bullion Baby, which we are going to get to last. The first thing I wanted to start with is this is a package I got via Silver Keys from Four Nines Fine Silver. I won, I think I came in third place on one of his big giveaways, and I'm giving away what I won here. I'm just trying to get everything out of the package. But they sent me a bunch of stuff, so let's, let's get into this package and make sure I got everything out of there, which I did. So I came in third place, and, and what I ended up winning was this Copper Alligator which I think is pretty darn cool. Now, I wish I had come in first or second place because I know they were much bigger prizes, like one ounce or two ounce poured silver, but uh, I love me some copper. As you guys know, if you've watched any of my previous videos, I have a really good video on hoarding copper you should check out right here because uh, copper is worth about three times face value right now, uh, at least from a penny perspective. So uh, this is what I won, a little copper alligator, if I recall. I believe it's made out of copper. We'll find out in just a second. Let's see how much it weighs. We'll do it in grams. It weighs 25 grams. We'll get down here into ounces. There it is. It's uh, 0.88 ounces. Uh, let's check out troy ounces. It is 0.8 troy ounces as well. So anyway, I have a cool little figure to keep on my desk now. Uh, in the package, I did get a Silver Keys, Mr. Silver Keys sticker, which is very cool. I love to hang on to all the stickers that I get. Yep, here it is. It says, this crock is copper art. Four nines fine silver, and it was part of his 1500 gaw uh, live stream. I got a note. Congratulations, 1500 gaw. Thank you from Silver Keys from Four Nines Fine. So we got that little note. And we got a four nines fine silver. So I will leave the channel URLs in the description down below. But four nines fine, I know really well. Uh, he does some amazing pours. Uh, he's out of Australia. So I check out his channel all the time. He's making all kinds of cool, interesting sand casted things. He, he does a lot of animals. Uh, I won a turtle from Sean47 last year that four nines fine poured. Uh, but he's got a great channel. I don't know. I apologize. I don't know as much about silver keys, but. I will be sure to go check him out. You guys should as well. I'll leave a, uh, assuming he's got a channel, a link in the description down below. But uh, that's that one. One last look. Here's our little alligator one last time. And we'll put him right here where you can see him. Sorry for the weird cut into this, but I uh, forgot that I had made an eBay purchase that I also wanted to share with you guys during this video. And I've been hanging on to it for quite some time and not taking it out of the package. Uh, but as you guys know, I do collect the Marvel series coins from Tuvalu. Uh, I have all of them except for Spider-Man and Iron Man. I have all the rest of them. Cap is currently out of stock. Iron Man is currently out of stock. And Spider-Man is out of stock. And Spider-Man is really out of control. There were only, I think, 25 or 30,000 minted on eBay. He's consistently going for you. You can find him on a lucky day for 75, 80 bucks. Most days it's 120, 150, 190. It's up there. Uh, but if you're patient, you might be able to find Spidey for cheap. But what I was able to get on eBay was one of the two that I was missing. And I basically got it for the, the, the price that you can get it from a crown mint for, uh, which was $49.95. I did, I think I paid $50 and I had to pay like $4 in shipping. But crown mint also charges shipping for these coins. So I wanted to go ahead and get this open. The guy actually packaged it pretty well. Um, these look like they're huge flips for maybe like Pokemon cards. Uh, so it was well packaged. Can't complain about that. If you've never purchased from the Crown Mint before, all of their coins do ship in capsules. They do uh, heat wrap them, uh, shrink wrap them if you order 20 or more uh, into tubes. But I was really excited to pick up the one coin that I was missing, or really one of the two coins that I was missing. Uh, this does come with a pretty big premium. Uh, this is $49.95 retail. 
and uh, it is a 2018 release. Uh, and typically these are going on eBay for more than the $50. Again, if you, if you hunt and you're patient, you can get lucky, maybe get one around 50 bucks. But normally I see them going for upper 50s to, to upper 60s. So very pleased I got a good deal on this one and I got it delivered in safe condition. If you're curious about the other coins in the series, I have them all laid out here except minus Spider-Man, which I don't have, as I said. But uh, I have them kind of in the, the years that they came out, I believe. Yeah, I do. So Wolverine was, I believe, a 2021 release. Uh, Venom was a 2019 release. Sorry, Venom was a 2020 release. Hulk was a 2019, and I believe the rest of these were 2018 releases. So we got Wolverine, Venom, Hulk, Captain America, Deadpool, Black Panther, Thor, and Iron Man. But it's a beautiful series to collect. It is very expensive over spot, so these are collector pieces. If you're stacking, I would stay away from these. But uh, but as a collector, these are great to have, especially if you're a superhero fan like I am. So anyway, just wanted to share this as well. Well, the second thing, I've actually had this for a while. I went on vacation, so you guys have probably noticed I haven't posted much lately. But uh, Bullion Baby and I were chatting about some Mercury Dimes. I found three Mercury Dimes at a bank, and I was showing off my book. And I'm missing a lot of the early here. Actually, I'll show you guys. Here's my Mercury Dime book. And the last page is full. Come here. The last page is completely filled out. The middle page is about a third of the way done, maybe close to half of the way done. But my first page is looking pretty, pretty sad. Well, Bullion Baby uh, has been watching this channel for a long time. He's a really good friend of the channel. Um, you catch him on a lot of like one roll at a time, his live stream. He's all over the place. He's a really good guy. But he sent me an email and said, hey, are you interested in a purchase or a trade to help fill this book out? And I said, absolutely. He did post a video of his mail call from me with all the stuff I sent him. Uh, but in his package to me, I did get a Bullion Baby sticker. And there's a surprise on the back of that. But we're going to read this card first. Hey brother, per our trade, here are the 17S, 18D, 18S, 19, 19D, 20D, 20S, 24, 25, 25D, 2060, 28D, 30, and 34D Mercuries. Yeehaw. I included an extra Merc just because. Thank you. Travis, a.k.a. Boolean Baby. So very cool of Boolean Baby. I have another sticker of his, but taped to the back was a surprise. That looks like a 1945 Merc Dime. So let's see here if it's got a mint mark on it. I don't believe it does. I believe the mint mark on these is on the back, but I can't really recall. But it is a 1945. We'll get it up here close to the camera for you. All right, well, let's see what he, what he did send me. It actually all says in the card. Let's make sure it all made it. We'll check out the condition of these things, and we'll pop them in the book because there's nothing more satisfying than popping coins in a book that you're filling. Well, as Bullion Baby promised, I went ahead and scoped all these. You probably saw me take them off camera there in the fast forward just to scope them all, make sure I had them in the right position. And what I did was try to map to this card. So we have our 17S, 18D, 18S, 19, 19D, uh, 20D, 20S. This is our 24, our 25, our 25D, 26D, 28D. 30 and 34 D. So they are all present and accounted for on top of this lovely 1945. So what we're going to do here before we wrap up our video is you guys can watch me punch these down and fill this book in. Because like I said, there is nothing better than popping coins into your album. So here we go. This is the 17... Uh-oh, he sent me a 17S, and it looks like I already had one. So that one's not going in unless, let me double check it. This one's a little bit tough to tell if that's an S or a D. 
So I might not need that one, or it might have been a 17D. We'll see. All right, this is our 18D, which again, I didn't need this one, but that's okay. I did need this 18S, which I did check that one. So let's pop that guy down. Here is the 19. I'm just going to double check the mint mark. Yep, that is the 19. Get in there. Hopefully you guys can see me doing this. All right, there's that one. Uh, we have a 19D here, which again, I don't need. We'll check and see if it's an upgrade. Here is the 20D, and I can see that mint mark there. We definitely needed that one. Here is the 20S, and you can see that mint mark. So here we are on the 20S. Sorry, I'm covering up my coins here. Ooh, I got them out of order. Darn it. That's a 30. Here's our 1924. No mint mark. He is going to go right here. We had a 25. No mint mark on that guy. He's going to go right here. And then we're going to open up to the second page of this book. Let's see here. Oh, wait, no, we needed this 25D right here. Just double checking, making sure here that is the 25. This here is my 25D. There'd you go. He's going to pop in right there. And I've got four more to do. This is our 26D. Here is our 1930. He's going to go right there, the 1930. Ooh, I skipped over one. This is a 1928D. Where does he go? Right there. 4.2 million. It's a pretty low mintage. And we have a 1934 Denver which is right here. Well, sorry, this was a little bit sloppy. I did end up getting three. We, I either miscommunicated to him or we uh, got our, our, our mint marks crossed, but I do have three now early year. We had a 1918, a 1917, and a 1919 years that I already have, but that's okay. I don't mind hanging on to some older uh, Mercury Dimes, but as you can see now, let me back out here. We are looking a lot better. So we got two, well, let's see here, two, four, six. We got eight holes to fill through 1925, and only three, uh, three, six, seven, eight to fill. Uh, and this album will be done. So that is pretty exciting. Thank you so much, Boolean Baby, for helping me uh, get this thing filled out. Just a handful more to go. And just so you guys know, Boolean Baby did offer me the, these two super key dates here, this 21 and 21D. But uh, they're just tremendous finds, and he paid pretty good money for those. And uh, I'd rather him hang on to those than give him less than they're worth to fill my book. I'll just stay on the hunt for these in coin roll hunts or in estate sales or something where I can get one cheap. But anyway, that is our mail call, and that is our Mercury Dime album fill. Thank you, uh, Four Nines Fine Silver. Thank you, Silver Keys. And thank you, Bullion Baby, for uh, the copper and helping me fill out this Mercury Dime book. Uh, as I said, if you haven't checked out those channels, please do. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, consider dropping down below this video. And if you're not already a subscriber of the channel, click on that subscribe button and that little bell and select all so you get notified each and every time I release a new video. Uh, click that like button while you're there. And uh, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you guys. Sorry if this video was a little bit clunky, 
Uh, but I really didn't plan this one out too well, and you guys saw that. So just wanted to say thanks for watching, and you guys take care, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.